Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know I created a video a little earlier, but I figured I'd bring out a new one. Another one that I actually found a truck that actually kind of gives that old look for the tanker. I said about it in my last video, it's a 1950s uh, gas tanker uh, created by Harvin. You can get this uh, tanker on the Steam Workshop and it is free and this truck right here is a Mac R 700L you can also get well I have a link in the description below where you can get this at as of right now uh, this truck is pretty much as is there's really nothing you can really do to it customization wise he built it just for whoever the creator was for this truck, just build it to give you the old nostalgia of the older trucks. Uh, about the only things you really can change on it is maybe some adding some interior pieces, like the you know the DLC packs offer for this, tr um, like you know like laptops in your seat and all that stuff, and you can change the wheels on it. Pretty much, it's just bone stock like this. But uh, if you like the older truck and you like that style, uh, it'd be something you can look into. It's free anyway. And the tanker is free. But for right now, let's start it up and let you listen to it. It's got its own sound, its own little thing going on for it. It actually doesn't sound too bad for what it is. It actually sounds pretty good. Interior wise, uh, of course your normal wipers and everything, uh, and basic interior, like, like I said you can add your DLC accessories, uh, duffel bag and the seat or add that little GPS phone. For some reason the TomTom Tom one is like bugging out, I don't know what the deal with that is, but it has actually happened twice on me uh, with another truck that I uh, with that other truck that I used on my last video. But the animations work. See it roll down the window. And everything. But uh, let's get going. Everything works on it. Uh, I haven't had no bugs or anything or issues with it. So, about beside that little TomTom -tom thing for the GPS, but the phone one works just fine if you want to use it. It sounds pretty good. It's actually got some pretty good sounds, uh, engine sounds. It's only a 350 horsepower and it's only got a, a 10 speed for it. No other ones or anything. It doesn't use any third party uh, engine mods or anything, engine sounds. So, but like I said, everything works on it. Even the tanker, the light blinks. Looks like the tail light ones ain't working. But from that, that's about the only thing not working, I think. But everything else, light works. Headlights are pretty bright. Actually looks pretty good. I just wanted an older style truck to go with this tanker because I put a newer version on it and just I just didn't look right. Because then I think of a 1950s gas tanker. I'm thinking like an old school truck. Big old square nose on it and everything. That's pretty much where I found this. I think it looks pretty good and everything. Even though you can't do much. Whoa, buddy. Jeez. Even though you can't do much customization to it. Uh, but you can. Uh, can change the wheels on it if you want to. So if you got a John Ruder truck and 
those wheels will work on it or the DLC wheel packs will work on it. He just done it his own way and everything. But it works really good. I mean, it's really nice. Yeah, like I said, it was a short, short run. Oh my gosh. Whew. Last time I did that, I got stopped in my tracks. I mean, literally, it just almost like I hit a brick wall to stop me. And the, the, it just had started making that noise, and the, the gates weren't even down on it, so I don't know why. It just basically plowed me right into it. Did about 62% of damage on my truck. It was crazy. I don't know if the game just lagged or what. That was crazy. And yes, we are delivering some diesel fuel. Looks like they need some gas for their equipment. It's actually not a bad truck or anything. It's actually pretty nice. But you just can't do any customizations to it. Uh, you can do some on this right here. They have two versions of this that you can change into. Uh, the restored version, which is the one I got on right now, or you can go with the old rusty look like you found it in a field somewhere and you're just using it to get fuel for your farm or something like that. But it's really nice. They're actually pretty good. You can find the t trailer on Steam Workshop, and I'll leave a link in the description below where you can find the truck. And that's it for that one. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Watch my other video too. It's a little bit longer, longer than I wanted it to, to be, but I kind of made a mistake in one of the areas where I actually did a big loop around because I missed my exit and went the wrong side. I had to big do a big circle. But, you know, we all make mistakes whenever it comes to looking at the GPS stuff. Because sometimes that stuff's confusing. One way it looks. But it could just be me. I don't know. But if you like this video, like and subscribe. And I shall see you all in the next one.